Welcome to my channel, where there are interesting and equally sensational stories. Listen to today's story. Finally stood up for myself. 32 male to fiancé, 30 female. Hey, everyone. In short, fiancé had a fair starting in July, going on dates, physical affair, even meeting up with a fair partner overseas. I was trickled truth and found out the majority in September. She found my old Reddit profile, which has my entire story. I finally did it. Even after D-Day, she was lying to me about still seeing a fair partner. On Tuesday, her Gmail was up on my computer. I remember seeing a name come across her phone and decided at random to search the name. I found Airbnb receipts, emails, and a folder of photos of them on their dates, kissing, as recent as last weekend. The visuals flipped a switch. The next night, I sat down with my family and told him everything. I couldn't lie to them anymore. I felt a weight lifted off of my shoulders. My parents were happy. They and my fiancé had a lot of history. I sent her a text to gather her things, and please move out to live with her mom. She said it wasn't cool. I flipped a switch and kicked her out. The next night, she stopped by to grab more things. She went through my Apple Watch and found out I told my family. She flipped through my clothes outside, saying this is all my fault, sucked in bed, didn't have sex enough. Let your little form make you believe you are perfect, and if you did everything right, this would have still happened. Now she's texting me. She misses me. Willing to do anything to be together. She doesn't want to move out. Yet when asked, still won't come clean about still seeing a fair partner. You had months. You saw me at my worst and kept seeing a fair partner. I saved the photos and emails for evidence. Seeing all of it just changed me entirely. It's like my brain won't let me get sad anymore when I have those bad waves. I can't get those pictures out of my head. I feel as if I'm able to finally move on by not having her here. Update. Hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving weekend. You can read my post to discover my story. I finally got the courage to ask my fiancé to leave my house. I recently told my entire family as she was, is still seeing a fair partner. I came across photos ranging July through November of them together. She came to finish packing, and naturally, when I see her, I become short. She asked me to stop being a dick, and I told her I wasn't being a dick, just short. I then went off. Not angry but told her I hope she has found the 20% that I was missing to provide and that it makes her happy. I told her she could not deny how I supported her, provide for her, and was always emotionally there for her. I then left to get a haircut. When I came back, she was in bed crying. As she started to finish packing, she has done brought up the following. She asked me if cutting off contact with the fair partner will help chances of getting back together at some point. Edit. She offered to share with me her password to her phone and all social media passwords as well. She still sees a fair partner because she doesn't want to be alone with the pain. She said cheating made her realize all that I did, how I watered our grass and all she didn't do throughout our relationship. She didn't realize this until she cheated. Doesn't want to be with a fair partner. She wants to be with a person who stuck with her through thick and thin. Didn't want to tell me how much in dark place she was in after being laid off because she knew how many extra hours I was working and didn't want to stress me more. At first, I thought to myself, man, she is manipulative. Her telling me her move-in date for her new apartment is this weekend did make me upset. Thinking to myself though, I just can't go back to her after all she has put me through. Why wasn't she just honest from the beginning? How to translate the above? I was thinking to myself, is this just love bombing? Have my therapist appointment this week, but just wanted to touch base here for some thoughts. Thank you in advance. Let's see what those thoughts are first from Steph's wife. I skimmed over your other posts. Here's the deal. She effed up. She wanted her cake and to eat it too. And when confronted about the affair, she continued it. It sounds as if it was a pretty extensive affair also. I think it is finally hitting home for her that her backup plan is gone. She wanted her fun and you to fall back on. You supported her. Right? Well, who's gonna do that now? I think the scope of what she did is hitting her. 
too bad for her. Where were her tears when you were falling apart? Because of what she's done. She got angry when you finally told your family. Nah, doesn't deserve to have her infidelities hidden away and swept under the rug. She needs to be accountable to all the people that she hurt. Without that accountability, there is zero chance of reconciliation. From what you've posted, commented, it doesn't sound like she's really genuinely sorry. Except this last time because it's coming to a close for her. Her safety net has told her to F off. The time for cutting off contact with the fair partner has passed. Too little too late. Doesn't want to be with a fair partner? Since when? Sure. She wanted to be with him during the whole duration of her affair. The lack of communication about her being in a dark place and not wanting to stress you more is a way for her to put just a little bit of the blame on you and off of herself. Don't let her do that. Her anger at you and disrespect is crappy. You made her dirty secrets public and in turn. She tried to make you hurt by saying awful stuff to you. Is that really someone you want to spend the rest of your life with? You came with the public forum with your questions, problems, because we have all been there. We all have similar stories and are able to recognize all the shady things our significant others say and do while engaging in emotional affairs or physical affairs. Helps to get advice from people who are either going through or have gone through what you yourself are going through right now. Please pay attention to her actions and not her words. Words are cheap and mean nothing when not backed by action. Stay strong. Update. Now the guilty mind games? Happy New Year, everyone. It seems now the guilt is too strong and wayward partner nine years together has been calling me late at night. Sometimes crying, telling me she will do anything to get back together. Late night texts asking if I miss her. She tells me she royally messed up, and her holidays were ruined. I feel as if her calls, texts are all about herself, never about how am I doing, and very self-absorbed. I need to keep contact open due to the dog. Christmas Eve, she sent me a picture of us during Christmas our first year together. As a reminder of the good times we had, and at some point in the future, if we can still talk, even if it's once in a while since we had good times together, they got me very upset, and I told her to please do not send me any pictures to me. She didn't think of my feelings and how I would take it. She still doesn't know that I know all of the details and still lies about specifics with the pair of partner, such as her still seeing him after D-Day. Is this just guilt, mind games, emotional abuse, holidays were hard, but any time I got upset, I reminded myself of the photos, receipts, etc., that I found. Do I miss her? Of course. But the thoughts go away once I look at those photos. Three months of therapy really helped. My therapist had me graduate last week and feels I made the right choice. I actually set up some online dating three months since D-Day this weekend and supposed to see someone for coffee next weekend. Talking to other girls felt good. Well, I made it clear I have no expectations. Not sure if I'm totally ready. But why not step outside comfort zone? Not on topic, but thoughts if I should still go. Hope everyone hung in there during the holidays. Update. Feel like I should be upset at myself. D-Day was in September. Had her move out in November when I came across hard evidence. Broken no contact with my ex tonight. I had two missed calls. Even when I saw them, I said, no, out loud. Yet a few minutes later, I gave her a call. I don't know why I did. She started off by saying how much she missed me and took me for granted. She then changed the conversation on my mistakes. 1. Not setting boundaries with my parents, which I can agree with, but we went to couples counseling together on how best to address and I eventually put the work in, which at the time, she told me how much the relationship with her and my parents improved. And 2. Not opening up more regarding sex. Our quantity was a problem. Although she agreed I came up with multiple solutions that she never took me up on for an extended period of time. I.e. planning sex would be a great for a week or so, and then she or we wouldn't continue the commitment. She said if she didn't have the affair, she would happily be with me and that she had the affair because with her self-worth tied to external things, losing her job sent her to a really dark place where she felt worthless. She said only now that she has lost everything that she realized how much I meant to her and how much she had. 
Why did she call? Is this just manipulation? Ease her guilt? To feel she still has some control over me? That's how I feel and I'm pissed I fell into it. I think I realized why I answered because I honestly want to make sure she is physically and mentally okay. I'm very understanding and empathic. She's not a bad person. Just made her series of really bad intentional choices. Honestly, before she called, I was searching for why I felt sorry for her knowing she feels terrible about what she did. To this point, I've been doing fine. Do I think about the past at times? Sure. And sometimes have a good cry, but have felt indifferent about it all? I guess this is just part of my healing journey. I've been talking to a girl via mutual friends and are supposed to meet soon, which I'm excited about, but just pissed at myself right now. Update. How much deterioration leads to cheating, post-separation? Hey, everyone. Hope you're all staying strong. Has been a couple months since I have posted. What I will note to anyone struggling is that 100% gets better. Trust the advice you receive here. Something that I've been going back and forth on is how much of the deterioration of the relationship is the reason for the cheating. I don't blame myself for the cheating, but I can understand taking some blame for issues in the relationship. When it is acceptable, if ever, to know the issues in the relationship and understand why behind the behaviors of the wayward partner. My therapist, whom I only see once a month now, told me when we first met a while ago that even if I did everything right in my relationship, we would still have a head problems, and my wayward partner made a decision to look elsewhere, not because I was unfulfilling. Part of me is now 50-50 with that mindset. At the time, my wayward partner noted it was a feeling of being wanted that she felt led to her acting out. Sometimes I think if I made her feel more wanted, desired, etc. Maybe that would have changed the route she took. Over time, she realized it was not dealing with losing her job and fighting whatever demon she had going on due to job loss. Just something going back and forth during my bad moments. Onward. Last update. Karma. Right feeling. Wanted to post an update since a lot of you, you have helped me in the last six months. For those who don't know, my ex fiance 31 female, nine years together, had an emotional affair, physical affair starting late spring 2022. Lasting beyond D-Day, September 2022, and through us breaking up November 2022. It all started when she lost her job. Spiraled and sought external validation within a fair partner, she met at a career event. Trickled truth, blamed me up until I told her to move out. I've been no contact for three months. Ignoring all the regretful texts she's now sends at random until she called texting me multiple times yesterday. She told me she just lost her new job. Almost exactly a year after when she lost her last job and began her affair. She called to grab the rest of her stuff that she wants to sell. She told me she began working at a restaurant to make ends meet. Maybe I deserve this. None of this is your worries. While crying on the phone. Told her the day she can grab her stuff that's in the garage. Not sure she is still with a pair of partner. Last I know they were together in February. It's come full circle. On the phone last night, I felt very indifferent stoic. Oddly, I don't feel happy, satisfied that this happened to her as some might imagine I would be after all that happened. I don't wish anyone to be in that position. After the call, I sat for a minute and felt bad that it happened. She has made a lot of mistakes in the past year and now add this. For her sake. I hope she finds her way back to virtue that I believe she does have. Followed to move on with the rest of my night. As for me, work, being in the gym, and dating has been keeping me busy. I can't stress enough what exercising has done. And once you are ready to start dating again, dating has helped me realize I'm not the only one. I'm having fun with the process. Sugar for me now are holidays. I really enjoyed having everyone together for the holidays in the past and at random, fleeting thoughts, but I'm in a good place if anyone needs anything, DM me, and hopefully I can help. First of all, let me congratulate you on your bravery and tenacity in the face of a highly challenging and emotionally charged circumstance, op. Any relationship can become messy and chaotic as a result of the complex problem of infidelity. 
Despite how difficult it has been, you have done a commendable job advocating for yourself and taking the necessary precautions to safeguard your emotional well being. It's really admirable how strong you were in asking her to leave, being open with your family, and going to therapy. Focusing on your health and healing is the right thing to do. The actions of your ex fiance and her refusal to confess to having an affair despite numerous opportunities speaking more highly of her than you. Her decisions are not your fault. You must keep in mind that her affair is not an assessment of your value or a test of your effectiveness as a partner. It's important to avoid letting her decisions and actions lower your sense of value or self worth. It's great progress to see that you've resumed dating and are taking action to reclaim your life. Be patient with yourself. Please remember to give yourself time to heal and regain full trust in yourself after dealing with the situation. You've already demonstrated tremendous strength and fortitude. Don't be afraid to set boundaries in the future to protect yourself. Although this experience is difficult, you are displaying a lot of courage and confident that you will emerge from it stronger. Go forward while being careful. Let's see what the rest of the community has to say. Mr. Big Bull 01 says, Hi, oh page good to read. You're at this point now. That means you're doing good. An extension calls or whatever and mentions that it is none of your worries, then just confirm it. Maybe something in the line of, Indeed, you are not my worry anymore. You made a choice, and now you have to live with the consequences and no, this does not mean they could help her in the future did not make the same wrong decisions again, and maybe as a side effect, will stop messaging you because she knows you do not care anymore. Then you can truly move on full speed ahead. Careless Welder 4048 chimes in. This is when you know you have moved on. Congrats. Don't take her back. Livid Owl 1273 says, This lingering crap about her possessions a year later needs to be resolved. During my divorce, my ex pulled similar BS. We had a nesting agreement for a while, but once she moved in with a fair partner and we were ordered to sell and split the house by the divorce decree, her crap had to go. I rented a storage unit and sent her to the key. I took a little bit of money and a full day to pile all her crap in there, but it was worth it. If you're able to do something similar, don't break no contact for something so minute. Don't let her root around your home without supervision. Don't give her a chance to turn on the waterworks and ruin your day. The op replies, kicked her out right before Thanksgiving, but good point made. We'll have my camera on. Don't rightly know, has this to say. Isn't it funny how the grass always looks greener on the other side of the fence? But once they hop the fence, they find out that what looked like greener grass is just a bunch of weeds and thorns underneath it all. I suspect she was probing you to see if there was any possibility that you still had feelings for her and might be open to restarting the relationship. Nope. Honey, you made your bed now. You get to sleep in it. Rocks, weeds, thorns, and all. The op replies, agreed. I know I couldn't live the guilty conscience she has. If she has it. I know I've made mistakes, but not close to what she has done because I knew I couldn't sleep with it. Thank you for joining us today on our space. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on our next video. And if you like what you see in here, drop a comment below. Until next time.